Ever wondered what happens when the roar of engines meets the thunder of emotions? The recent bush-like clash at the Coliseum unleashed a storm on the asphalt, revealing a tale woven with fury, power, and unbridled competition. As the high-performance machines carved through the track, a narrative unfolded. A story of titans clashing, rivalries igniting, and raw power showcasing its might. In the heart of the Tempest, Joey Logano found himself fueled by fury directed at Ty Gibbs. Meanwhile, Denny Hamlin's Toyota Prowess commanded the spotlight, etching a chapter in the annals of motorsports history. Be ready for this clash, which was not only more than just a race, but also a mysterious dance of power and passion. The first race of the 2024 NASCAR season took place on the quarter-mile bullring located inside the Los Angeles Coliseum on Saturday night. The conclusion of the bush-like clash was not, however, devoid of drama. The incident that took place between Joey Logano and Ty Gibbs on Saturday night following the Bush clash at the Coliseum was just the most recent instance of contention between the two drivers competing in the NASCAR Cup Series. In the latter stages of the race, both Logano and Gibbs were in the running for the victory. However, Denny Hamlin, who had started in the pole position, crossed the finish line first and won the race for the non-points category. Gibbs went from being in the lead to dropping to sixth place to getting thrown off the bumper of Kyle Larson during the last 11 green flag circuits of the Bush Light Clash that took place at the Coliseum on Saturday night. As a result of his departure from Los Angeles in 18th place, he did not have a breakthrough race. Gibbs said, It was just unfortunate. I guess I gotta get better at restarts. My team brought me a great car, as we saw, and they did a great job. It was a great showing. To make matters even more difficult, Joey Logano approached Gibbs at the number 54 trailer after the race, marking the most recent episode in the ongoing dispute between the two drivers. The enmity between Gibbs and Logano reached a boiling point in the autumn Martinsville Speedway race when the number 22 car drove the number 54 car into the wall. Gibbs and Logano had a few arguments over the previous year. After the race, the two of them sounded irritated. In an interview, Gibbs said, He's, Logano, just mad that I ran him up. But if you go back and look at the replay, the 12, Brian Blaney, kind of chucks him out of the way too. It's hard racing at the end. This place is really hard to get your tires warm once the caution comes out. As we all see everybody sliding around. I just got in there deep. And then we just all kind of got tangled up after that. Logano just came to me and said that to me in a bunch of different words. Logano was upset with Gibbs because he felt Gibbs was being overly aggressive. Specifically, it involved a restart with 10 laps left when Gibbs went wide off the restart and caused Logano to lose momentum. It appeared as though the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Rookie of the Year was ready to make his presence known and declare that he had arrived. After qualifying in third place, Gibbs grabbed the lead from Denny Hamlin, who would go on to win the race. In the subsequent 91 laps, Gibbs led 84 of them and he was about to drive off into the sunset until a yellow with 11 laps to go caused the field to be compressed back together. Immediately after the restart, Hamlin maneuvered his way under and around Gibbs. Gibbs couldn't go back around his buddy, even though he made several efforts. Next, he made his way back to 6th place, which he had previously held. Gibbs mentioned, We were definitely faster at the time. Hamlin had left front lockup issues, so did I. I think that's something on our side as an organization with the left fronts. But I just overdrove it trying to get to him and kind of messed up and lost position. On lap 149, Larson got hit from behind and into Gibbs, sending the number 54 spinning. He, Hamlin, just did a good job of getting back in contention for the race win, and I just overdrove the corner there, and then I got wrecked after, Gibbs said. Even though Gibbs would not have been able to win the race and receive points for it, it would have been a significant moment in NASCAR history if he had been able to hold on. The third driver to win the clash before winning their first cup race would have been Gibbs if he had completed the over. Denny Hamlin has claimed the title of Clash at the Coliseum after making a huge comeback in the middle of the race. Having just finished his fourth victory in the clash and his first victory at the Coliseum, Denny Hamlin just put on a display that was just incredible. On the other hand, carrying out the duty was difficult for the number 11. Midway through the race, Hamlin had a loss of momentum, which caused him to hover in sixth place. As a result, Ty Gibbs was able to take the lead. After making a slow but steady ascent to the front row, Gibbs and Hamlin faced off once more for the victory on the last lap of the race. The penultimate lap of the race was the one in which Gibbs spun, which resulted in a caution being issued. This occurred after he had been pushed and turned for the 2023 Rookie of the Year. 
As the race proceeded into overtime, Kyle Busch also demonstrated a defiant charge for the victory. He was determined to win. Hamlin, however, was able to win the clash even though Ryan Blaney and Kyle Busch, his former teammate, were attempting to challenge him. This was possible since the air was clear in front of him and there was no traffic in his way. A happy Hamlin offered a comforting verdict for the supporters after he had won the race. He also repeated his famous phrase from the previous year, which was, I beat your favorite driver again. In the clash, Hamlin is getting closer and closer to breaking Dale Earnhardt's record of six victories. With four to his name, a strong beginning to the year 2024 suggests that he has made a full recovery from the shoulder issues he was experiencing. Despite the challenges he faced, fate bestowed upon him several fortunate moments, and as a result, we have the winner of the season opening match in 2024. The fact that he has won the Daytona 500 three times is a significant confidence booster for the year 2024. With the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series just around the corner, Denny Hamlin is now in first place in the Toyota Racing Power Rankings. Since the transition of Joe Gibbs Racing to Toyota, Hamlin has won 48 races in the Cup Series. He's the top in terms of active victories for the manufacturer. The second place finisher is Martin Truex Jr., who has won 32 of his 34 Cup races while driving a Toyota. The Toyota Racing Power Rankings feature several drivers who are already well known in the Cup Series, in addition to a promising athlete who is now competing in the Truck Series. Every single one of these rankings is determined by the previous achievements of each of the three national NASCAR series, in addition to the current circumstances of each team as of the year 2024. In addition to this, Hamlin was even more pleased with the brand new, gleaming edition that was added to the cabinet. As a result of Denny Hamlin's thrilling triumph, the exciting spectacle that was going to take place on Saturday night came to an end. It is possible that the tarmac has cooled off and the engines have stopped running, but the effect of the clash will continue to reverberate throughout the racing community. Those who are passionate about racing should keep themselves updated since the world of motorsports is a dynamic canvas, and the checkered flag at the clash is simply the beginning of another exciting story. To keep the adrenaline pounding and the thrill alive until next time, when the engines roar to life again, let the memories of this race ensure that they continue to be vivid. Like, subscribe, and share to unfold the upcoming events.